Hey everyone, today we are going to be talking about conditioning your thread for beading. So for a lot of bead projects, especially for things like fringe earrings, I'm usually just using regular old polyester thread. And so what I like to do to make the thread easier to work with is condition it with beeswax. So I'm going to show you how I go about doing that. I'm gonna go ahead and cut off a length of my thread right now. I like to work with about two arms width of thread uh, so that when you double it up, you only have to pull it one arm's length away. And I'm just gonna go ahead and give that a little snippy snip. So there are these little things that you can buy at craft stores and such where it has a little block of beeswax inside of a plastic container that has little cutouts for you to be able to stick your string in there. And those are great, um, but I already have like a one pound brick of beeswax. So I just cut off a little ball of it. And if it happens to be a little bit cold where you are, uh, it can get a little flaky and hard. So I like to warm it up with my hands a little bit and that just makes it easier to coat the thread. So in order to condition my thread, I am going to take my little ball of beeswax and hold my thread on top of it, pinch it together really well, and pull my thread through while I'm pinching. And that's going to coat our thread in a little bit of beeswax, which will tack those fibers down and keep it from wanting to tangle up as much while we're working with it. And I like to run my thread through like this at least twice, sometimes three or four times if I feel like it didn't get good enough coverage the first two times. And you can see the beeswax will capture some of the fibers that were already about to come off our thread. And I like to keep mine in a little baggie so that I know that it's not rolling around picking up like dust and dirt and stuff. So it's as simple as that. Now we have a beautifully conditioned piece of thread ready to go to thread on our big eye needle for beading. And I cannot overstate to you how much this really helps keep your thread from being tangled up so much. It really does help. So I hope this little video was helpful. If it was, please do the like, comment, subscribe, do all the things. Um, thank you very much for watching and okay, bye.